Next, we want to do what's called logarithmic differentiation. Over here on the board, I've written y equals x to the fifth. Well, I know how to differentiate that. That's pretty simple. y prime is equal to that exponent, same base, power one less. So I know that rule for differentiation. It's easy. If I have y equal e to the x, that's also easy. That derivative is just itself, y equal e to the x. But here's a situation that I have not encountered before where my, in, in trying to take derivatives, where my exponent right here contains the variable. I can't use this rule right here for derivatives because the derivation of that rule depended on this exponent being a real number. So I can't use that. I'm going to have to do something else. Um, it turns out that logarithms allow us to take exponents and write them as coefficients. So what I'm going to do is just take the log of both sides of this expression right here and see what happens. So if I take the log of the left side, I have log y is equal to log 5 to the x. Now I can use my properties of logarithms to take that exponent and turn it into a coefficient. So I'm going to rewrite this as x log 5. Now that's why I took the derivative, that's why I took the logarithm of both sides so that I could take that exponent, which is causing me problems here trying to find the derivative, and rewrite it as a coefficient. Now, I don't, this doesn't bother me because I know how to do my implicit differentiation, so I'll just differentiate left to right. The derivative of log y with respect to x is going to be 1 over y times dy dx. Remember, it's log of y. Y is the argument. So it's 1 over y times the derivative of the argument. That is the chain rule. That's equal to, OK, I have to differentiate this with respect to x. Log 5 is just a constant. So that constant will come out in front, log 5, times the derivative of x with respect to x, which is just 1. OK, so look what I have. Here's my derivative. I just have to solve this equation for it, get everything else on the other side, and I'll have the derivative of y with respect to x. So the derivative of y with respect to x, I'll multiply both sides by y. I get y log 5. And y was, remember, 5 to the x. So this is going to be 5 to the x log 5. Now that process right here of finding that derivative, that's called logarithmic differentiation, and it requires that we take the log of both sides. Doing so lets us take our exponents and turn them into coefficients. Let's try another problem. Here I have y equal x to the x. My exponent contains the variable, so I'm going to use my logarithmic differentiation and take the logarithm of both sides. So I'll have natural log y is equal to natural log x to the x. Now I apply my properties of logarithms to write this exponent x as a coefficient x log x. All right, now I can differentiate left to right using implicit differentiation. The derivative of log y is 1 over y dy dx equals, OK, here I have the product rule. I have the product of two functions of x, x and log x. Use my product rule. So I have the first x times the derivative of the second, 1 over x, plus the second, log x, times the derivative of the first, which is 1. OK, so let's take and multiply both sides by y to get rid of this y over here. And I'll have dy dx is equal to y times x times 1 over x is going to be 1, plus log x times 1 is log x. And just to finish this off and write everything in terms of x, I'll go back and remember that y was equal to x to the x. So I have x to the x times 1 plus log x. So a nice simple way to find some pretty complicated derivatives there, just using our properties of logarithms. Logarithms will let you take exponents and turn them into coefficients, and that's all we need to find these derivatives. How about y equal x to the sine x? Same kind of situation. My exponent here contains the variable, so I'll have to take the log of both sides. Natural log of y is natural log of x raised to the sine x. Now, that exponent doesn't matter what it is. My properties of logarithms tell me I can rewrite the, this expression with this exponent as a coefficient. So that's going to be sine x times the log of x. All right, now I'll differentiate using implicit differentiation. 1 over y dy dx 
is equal to, okay, again, product rule, right? I have two functions of x being multiplied together here, sine x and log x. So I'll take the first, sine x, times the derivative of the second, 1 over x, plus the second, log x, times the derivative of the first, remember, cosine x. Derivative of sine is cosine. Okay, I'll multiply both sides by y, so I'll get dy dx is equal to y times sine x times 1 over x. I'm just going to write that as sine x over x plus log x times cosine x, log x. Maybe I'll put that in parentheses just to be sure that that's the product of those two functions. Okay, and then I won't go the next step, but you would take this value of y, x to the sine x, write it right down here. So it's that times this. That gives you the derivative of y with respect to x. Let's try one more problem. Hey, who made this problem up? Log x to the x. How about that? Well, it's, it's, it's the same type of problem for us as all the other ones. Our exponent contains the variable, so we're going to have to take the log of both sides. So when I do that, I get log y is equal to the log of the log of x raised to the x. Okay, well, it doesn't make any difference to me what this argument is right here. It's raised to the x power. And my properties of logarithms allow me to take that exponent and rewrite it as a coefficient. So let's go down one line here. Log y is equal to x log of log x. All right, so log y is equal to x log of log x. Now I'll differentiate implicitly left to right. I'm not going to worry about this till I get there. So I'll start over here, and I'll have 1 over y times the derivative of y with respect to x is, okay, here's the product of two functions of x, x times the log of the log of x. So I use my product rule. The first, x, times the derivative of this. Well, the derivative of anything is 1 over that thing times the derivative of that thing. So the log of this argument, its derivative is 1 over log x times the derivative of the argument, which is the derivative of log x, which is 1 over x, plus the second log of log x times the derivative of the first, which is just the number 1. Okay, I think I've got it then. I'll just multiply both sides by y. So I'll have dy dx is equal to y times x times 1 over log x times 1 over x. The x's divide out. I just have, I just have whoops, 1 over log x plus the log of the log of x. And then y is equal to log x to the x, so let's just write that out. Log x to the x times 1 over log x plus the log of the log of x. So we did pretty good there. Here's a pretty complicated looking function right here and without really too much work, just using our properties of logarithms, we're able to find that derivative. So that's a look at logarithmic differentiation.